Kaya! The topic for this video is Isisa, new codes of evolution for the planet and humankind. When you try to tune into where human evolution is going, you might have this big empty space of unknown. Or you might realize that there is something, some force, something that is actually guiding human evolution. And I believe it is. There are lots of forces at play on this planet. Lots of hierarchies working through humankind or around humankind, building a field of consciousness, development and evolution on this planet. So what I'm saying right now, you can agree or disagree, you can feel the same or not. You know, to me, it doesn't really matter. The reason why I'm recording this video is because I feel there is, there are energies, forces at play that are working through me. This whole temple, this whole space, everything that I'm wearing, you know, is the result of channeling a certain form of consciousness. And that consciousness is not unique, you know, it's not just one code word or one access or one field of energy. It's multiple fields of energies that are interacting with each other. But one of the main codes, one of the main fields, one of the main frequencies that I'm working on is called Isisa. And it's the actualized form of the goddess Isis, of the ancient goddess of Egypt, Isis. I'm not going to tell you the, you know, the pathway that did bring me to that, but it's, a, you know, a, a, the result of two, three years of evolution and quest for me. But right now, what is important is that what I feel is that there is an upgrade or there is a transfer of consciousness that is happening in human consciousness that is an upgrade of our program, an upgrade of our functioning as a human race. And that transfer is happening right now. And it is not new. It is not new in human evolution. You might believe, you might feel that, you know, human evolution is just something that happens by coincidence, that somehow we develop this <laughs> this body and this incredible system that we function in, that we call civilization, that somehow it developed itself organically without any form of guidance or without any form of plan. And so my belief is, is quite different. I believe that we are being very clearly and strongly guided. I believe that there is a, what I call a galactic grid of consciousness that is the result of thousands or millions of human-like races that have been populating the galaxy you know and some of these races or some of these systems of consciousness might be godlike beings or goddess-like beings some of them might be on the angelic or archangelic uh, hierarchies some of them might be more like humans some of them might be more like elemental forces, you know, less evolved than, than humankind, but that are playing a role in the evolution as well. And so all of that happening, you know, in the galactic grid or in the galactic consciousness is influencing humankind. And some of those evolved forms of, you know, civilization or human-like races are transferring codes in human evolution so that we don't get lost along the way and so beyond the romanticized idea that is beyond all that you know, i want simply to bring it to the attention that you know this is a reality i function with i had really powerful mystical experiences related with embodiments and transfer of those those energies you know over the last uh, two three years here we go, you know, vital Tantra powers, you know, I use, I still use the word Tantra, but it's something that is much vaster than what we call Tantra, you know, traditionally, of course, you know, it's a field of consciousness, a field of energy. And within that, what you have in there is just words and words and codes and codes and codes that represent, you know, what I call code codes of human evolution. Every word 
is, a, is an access code to a transfer of energy which is influencing the human race right now. And the way I'm putting it is with those words, but uh, you know, if you were tuning in, you would come with your own language or your own set of, of transfer of, of energy potentials. You know, it might be in the form of movement, in the form of mudras. I, you know, a mantra yogi or mantra, mantra tantrika, so I work a lot with, with codes, with words, you know, activating uh, mind patterns to, to transfer certain, certain energies. And so what is important with, within that, the, the, the core idea of this video is that I feel we are being guided and the, the, the main code word that projects us forward, you know, that projects me forward or that projects my system forward or what I teach forward is this code word, Isisa. Isisa. And you can go back to a romanticized idea of what the goddess Isis looks like in, you know, in ancient Egypt, but actualize it to this form, you can, you can see it as simply a field of energy. And this field of energy is filtering through the sun and hitting the earth. It's a field of consciousness. It's a goddess-like energy. And uh, again, you know, we don't have to personify it personify it, you know, imagine a field of consciousness which is really vast, which is right now as a daughter of the sun transmitting this energy towards towards uh, the earth and towards humankind. And these are the codes that I'm working with. So I will t tell you more in future videos if it's in alignment about it, but I wanted to let you know that if you want to access, you know, if you want to tune into that reality and tune into something that projects you forward into the future rather than bringing you back into the past, if you are done with the uh, basic optimization of your life and you feel like you are in a place where, you know, you want to serve the planet and humankind and you need some guidance or you need something, then this code word, Isisa, Isisa, creates an energetic alignment that will bring you into focus towards identifying what your mission is and how you can serve the planet and humankind. And of course, you know, reach out, come to me uh, on my website, vitalcoaching.com or on my Facebook profile, you can find me as Shiva Rajaya. And I'd be happy, of course, to, you know, to help you, guide you, have some coaching sessions on that. I mean, the whole, you know, I'm right here, I'm available and uh, just, just reach out and we'll figure out how we can, you know, work together. If there is something that there is an inspiration there that you can tune into. But the thing to remember, to realize right now is that, <coughs> yes, I don't, I don't think we are alone. I think that we are surrounded by a grid of consciousness and that, um, you know, from the galactic core, something is emerging, galactic grid, galactic federation, a whole lot of beings. And, uh, you know, a lot of this consciousness is being transferred in humankind and in inspiring new technologies, inspiring new ways of relating, new ways of being, new ways of relating to our bodies, new ways of evolving as a human race. That's it for now. Remember the code word, Isisa. If you want to start using it, just go ahead, write it down, meditate on it, Isisa. And I will tell you more if, you know, if it's in the flow. I love you. I'll see you soon.